What is up everybody? Okay, so it's the end of squirrel season and I wanted to just walk you through the, the best way I have found to clean the squirrel. And so if you're squeamish, you probably should stop watching because in this video, I'm gonna walk you through from shooting the squirrel to cleaning him and how to do it in about less than 30 seconds. So here we go. So if you're watching this video, you've probably been wondering how to clean a squirrel quick and how to keep it from being messy. So in this video, we're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through that in, in a few steps and I'm gonna show you how to properly clean them. Basically, step one, you need to find you a good pair of scissors because using scissors has probably been the easiest way I have found to clean these little guys other than putting the tail underneath your bootstrap and pulling up on them. But you just take a, a pair of scissors and what you want to do is cut a small little incision right behind their shoulder blade. So the next thing you want to do is take your, your fingers and put it underneath the skin and just pull it down. It's like you're pulling a coat off. The next step you're going to do is you're going to take those pair of scissors, you're going to snip all four feet, and then you're going to snip the head and separate it from the body. Bling, bling, bloom, and you have a squirrel that all you gotta do next is create a small incision right under the skin of the belly. Don't puncture any of the organs. Uh, pull those out, throw them away. After you rinse it off, you're gonna have one clean squirrel for the Ziploc bag that goes straight into the refrigerator, ready for the pot and pan, and that's really all there is in cleaning these squirrels. I've always heard that people don't wanna clean them, they're too much trouble, but literally, if you carry a pair of rubber gloves with you, just some surgical gloves, you're not gonna get your fingers dirty, they're not, not gonna stink up your hands, throw it in the garbage can, take it out to the trash, rock and roll. I, I haven't quite figured out why so many people are so squeamish about eating and killing and everything with squirrels. Uh, they're perfectly fine to eat. The whole wolves thing, I have found to be a rumor. I kind of researched it a little bit and the frost really doesn't do anything. It's just kind of a time of year and when the, the fly larvae are actually uh, laying their eggs in the squirrel uh, under the squirrel's skin so the really the cold doesn't have anything to do with it. it's just the incubation stage um, you should do some looking up on it if you got any questions about it but I have yet to die from eating a squirrel and none of my friends has ever died from eating a squirrel they're actually pretty tasty they taste just like a sweet like dark meat chicken or just less than a what pork would taste if it was sweet and dark meat, if that makes any sense. But all right guys, I wanted to make this quick video because somebody had asked the question about how I was cleaning them and uh, you know, this is like an old timey way of doing it. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Yak Molly on Facebook and Instagram. See you guys later. Waiting I around the bend my collar tag. Baby, let's just pretend I got my rodent You beat my collar I wanna stay like this forever <laughs> I wanna stay right here with you I wanna stay right here with you As the rest we fall Until it all breaks down But I need it so I will stay around When you're all messed up it's a great relief to be understood It's a shame still waters run deep